Hello, are we builders? My name is Tom Wilson, and I am here today to present Permanotes, a Web3 application that allows users to create, store, and share notes. Permanotes is focused on two core use cases. The first one is to just create and store private secure notes. So I um, just have always wanted to have a simple way to create and store private notes that I know that are secured and encrypted end to end. And so Permanotes encrypts from the browser all the way to the PermaWeb and then can only be decrypted by your wallet. Um, and that's uh, something I've always wanted in an app. And then the other is the ability to create and share public notes. And by making them public, um, obviously everyone can read the content, but then uh, have a monetization feature where the creator can earn AR by users uh, liking their content. So what are notes? Uh, essentially notes are markdown with some front matter that kind of give you some metadata of what the content is about. The title, the description, um, a topic, and um, a flag, whether it's true or false. Um, but the easiest way to kind of show you is a demo. So let's look at a demo of Permanotes. This version is currently in alpha and um, still a work in progress, but um, I think there's some stuff you can play around with today. So the first thing you'll notice is the landing page and you can either connect or go to learn more. We'll connect and we'll choose our AR Connect wallet. So when I uh, click AR Connect, it's going to pop up the wallet and I will log in and choose my permissions and then it will navigate me to uh, my account page, which this account is using the account.metaweave.xyz. So if you've set one up, it will show here based on your wallet. If not, it'll provide a link so you can go and create your account if you would like. Um, and then you can go in and view all of your notes or click new note. So here we will click uh, new note. And for our note, we're going to give it a title, you know, test note. Um, are we builders? And the note is markdown. So you've got a markdown editor. So if I wanted a heading one, I can say heading one. I wanted just to write some paragraphs. I just type here and then I can add emojis as that is super fun and I can make those super big. Um, and I can also, you know, add links and attach images. Um, one of the cool things is, is you can add links of uh, other perma notes. Um, you know, and, and cross link them. Uh, and you can add images from our weave as well. And we've got a preview mode. You can go full screen and split with preview and full screen. And then you can add a topic here. So I'm just add a, a topic here for permanence test. And you can either set it private, which it will encrypt it before it sends it to the PermaWeb. And then it'll decrypt it based on your wallet um, when you uh, click to view it. Or we can make it public. And when we make it public, it's, uh, it's actually creating a, a smart contract to capture the likes for the Perma note. And then it's storing the note on the Perma web. So uh, it takes a, a little bit of time and definitely I'm going to work on optimizing this to be uh, a bit faster. I think I can make it a, a little bit faster. 
Um, there we go. So it saved and it took us to our my notes uh, list. And we can go and view that note now. And you'll notice we have our awesome note here and we've got some info. And this is kind of the metadata that's explaining the information about the note. We can share it uh, on Twitter if we wanted to. We could copy this ID and um, paste it uh, anywhere as well. Um, and then we have this fork button. So the fork button allows us to essentially create a new note with all of this content in the new note. And then we can edit that and save it. And then we have our likes button. So uh, we can like this and basically it's going to execute that smart weave contract and uh, make, uh, make me a, a like <laughs> for this content. And any uh, user can, can like a, a public note and the content creator actually gets uh, paid uh, 0.001 AR for every like. And then you can also unlike it if you want, um, and that'll uh, remove your particular like from the note. Um, and then we can show fork, and it just comes in here, and we can edit and create a new document, etc., cetera, um, just like that. So that is the, the application at, at this point. Uh, one cool feature is that I was able to kind of build this uh, learn page using the app itself. So when I um, was going to re-update the learn page um, instead of writing, you know, HTML or hard coding some markdown, it's like, you know, I could just use Permanent. So I went in here and created my um, learn page, which is here somewhere. Um, so I created my learn page and then uh, again, um, just added that link uh, to the app and redeployed it. And my learn page is inside the app, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's, that's kind of the demo. What we're planning on next is really to add a favorites feature where you, when you like a note, it will add to your favorites list. Or if you subscribe to a topic, um, it will add that topic to your favorites list. Or if you follow a creator, it will add that creator to your favorites list. And your favorites list would be essentially a list of bookmarks that you can click on. And if you click on a particular note, you go to that note. If you click on um, a topic, you go to a list of notes for that topic. And if you qu click on a creator, you go to a list of notes for that creator. And we'll embed search so that you can quickly uh, search for notes. So if we go to notes, we can uh, enter a search. We'll get that hooked up and working. And then uh, a CLI. So if you have markdown documents that you want to import, um, the CLI tool will allow you to kind of import batch notes into the system. Future ideas are uh, atomic NFT. So being able to mint an NFT of a note um, and see that show up in your wallet. Um, also the ability to, you know, possibly get attention rewards. We're gonna look into that um, and see how that might work for permanents. And then the ability to upload and attach you know, kind of images or files to a, a note so that you can, um, you know, use that, uh, um, use those images in your note itself and make sure that they're always there. So that's kind of where we're going with permanents, open for feedback. Now what's under the hood? Um, 
So it's uh, there's a, a PST for the for the app, and basically, um, it's in, anytime you create a node, it, it charges 0 0.004 AR or like ten cents, and then when users like a note, um, it transfers 0 0.001 AR to the creator, and um, it uses Redstone Gateway Smart Weave for contracts, uh, easy. Markdown editor for the editor, and then Svelte, Vite, and Tailwind for the stack. Um, some questions that I'm thinking about uh, is is you know ten cents a reasonable fee for creating a note? Um, should note creators be able to set their own fee for likes? Um, should note consumers be able to tip any fee for an NAR uh, for the creator? And then any other feedback, would love to hear it. Thanks again for your time, and I hope, uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks.